Oh, hi. I'm Greg Melanson, and this is Behind the Spring. Today, we're going to learn about the people behind the spring. Our team members are our greatest asset, so let's go hear what they have to say. Let's begin. Thank you for joining me here today. First question, what's the coolest process at Vulcan, and what does it accomplish? I'd say the coolest process for me, uh, being in shipping department for many years, there's a, we have a little swift that you can put pallets on, stack all your, your boxes up, and then uh, the, the plastic wrap wraps the, wraps the skid for you. Uh, back in the day, we used to have to take a hand roller and walk around the skid, and uh, if you were going pretty fast, you'd end up pretty dizzy. And uh, so I think for me in shipping uh, that and the bander that we got, which is an automatic bander, uh, really just made your job so much better and made a better product. So for shipping, yeah. Mm. I would say it would be the new Teams headset software that we have that I'm not really stuck at the phone before the, as before, now I can actually walk around or I can go to my computer and I'm not stuck there. Just I, I can actually feel more free and that makes it easier. I do everything off the software. I even make phone calls. I can look at my orders and everything and not being that I'm stuck looking at the phone. I have everything there with the headset. It makes it so much easier, really convenient. Another question for you. Which of the industries we serve inspires you the most? I do like the aerospace technology, anything that goes into uh, something that uh, could really make an innovation in human existence even, uh, going to other planets. I mean, we had springs on the Mars rover. And when you tell people that, that you make springs, it's my might be like, oh, that seems so mundane. But if you tell them exactly the kind of applications that are like uh, bringing in new knowledge and stuff like that, that's pretty interesting stuff. So. I would definitely say the POP industry, the point of purchase, because they're everywhere. Uh, Walmarts and any stores uh, that you see pushing products in uh, phone places where they pull the phones out and the cords are attached to it. So it's kind of neat because I see it every day. That makes it really awesome. Okay, here's a tricky one. How do you think spring making will be different 100 years from now? I don't see too much changing 100 years from now other than maybe automation and AI, stuff like that. But a spring in its basic sense is just a potential energy in a simple form. So I think it's something that is going to be around for for all of human existence um, so it's uh, not going away anytime soon uh, so hopefully the advancements uh, will just um, benefit employees and the people that are making the springs and yeah, jobs and stuff like that yeah. 100 years from now well I will definitely hope that it's the spring industry will still be the same but in the future I think probably a little better. Okay. If you didn't work at Vulcan, what would you do instead? Uh, if I didn't work at Vulcan, I'd probably own my own company. Um, maybe something working outside, uh, landscaping, or just uh, the idea of making something look beautiful. Uh, you can take properties that are, have run down for many years, and then you can go and clean them all up, plant shrubs, mulch, uh, patios, and stuff like that, and just transform a person's uh, house and their, uh, their yard and uh, make them happy for a long time, so, yeah. If it wasn't in bulk, and I think I would love, and I, I love dealing with people, so I would probably say something in the, um, hospital industry because I just love helping people and especially uh, recovering or recouping or something like that. I, I'm really good with people. I think that would be something I would like. We hope you've enjoyed hearing from our team. 
Thanks for watching.